Just got in my new Geo Kalkwasser reactor. This is the KR8 by 18. Uh, this is a quick overview of everything that it comes with. It comes with the reactor itself, a DC pump, the DC speed control, power supply for the pump, PVC piping, and some RODI tubing, and a valve to drain the reactor. First step to put this thing together is install the pump. To do that, take the pump, push this valve out of the way. Your pump is installed upside down. That's one of the neat features about this reactor. It is the only Kalkwasser reactor on the market that has this feature. It allows the slurry to drain out of the pump and not sit in the impeller and clog everything up. Uh, if the slurry is sitting inside where the magnet is and in the impeller, it could seize it up. Uh, this way is less maintenance. The drain valve I previously installed, you just want to make sure it's turned off so when you go fill it with water, it doesn't leak out everywhere. This is the cabinet I'm installing the new Geo reactor in. Uh, it is going to be replacing my old magnetic stir Kalkwasser reactor. Uh, the issue I'm having with the old one is I can't add work more than a week's worth of Kalkwasser powder. If I add anything more than a week, the Kalkwasser settles, gets too thick, and the bean doesn't stir. Uh, this new Geo reactor will not have that issue with the pump design. Uh, there's nothing really that's going to get stuck. And I can add probably more than a month's worth of Kalkwasser at once. Here's a quick size comparison of the old Kalkwasser reactor versus the new Kalkwasser reactor. The new Geo Gen 3 is significantly larger than my old setup, so this will be really nice. Next step of installing the Kalkwasser reactor is to install your RODI tubing. This white tube here is going to be the fresh water supply. The blue line is going to be the outlet. These are both fed through the cabinet into my sump cabinet. The blue line here is going to dump into the filter sock chamber. So it runs through my refugium first. And the fresh water is fed from my ATO container through a Versa up and around to the reactor cabinet. Next step is to hook up your power supply to whatever controller you're using. I'm using an Apex to control mine, but you could use something like these Casa Wi-Fi power strips, or they also make a singular plug, or you could use a simple timer. Before I set up the rest of the reactor, I'm going to go over the programming, how I have it set up in the Apex. I'm going to come down here to my calc stir. I already have an outlet for it. I have it set up to come on for one minute every four hours. There's many different ways to program this. You can use an OSC command. I did it this way because it works better with the Versa. I have it turn off five minutes before the pump to stir the Kalkwasser turns on. Just to be a little safe, I've noticed over time the Versa and the Apex don't have the same time. If I open up the Apex, it could say 608 and the Versa could say 610. Uh, so I give a little bit of time from when the Versa turns off five minutes before the pump turns on. This way, you're not dosing the slurry to the tank. All right, now we're going to go into the Versa setup. I'm going to come over here to the Mobius app. Pulls up already on the doser that's running the calc program. Uh, you can see here, I have it programmed to shut off. Every four hours, when it shuts off, it stays off for 25 minutes. For the calc to settle before it starts back up again, so I'm not dosing the slurry to the tank. So, because I've already been dosing calc washer, I know 
how much my tank evaporates. There's a few different ways to do this. You can do it off of evaporation if you have a lot of coral already. If you're just starting off, you can start low with say 100 to a few hundred milliliters today, a day and then work your way up. You can see here I'm at six liters a day. This is matching my evaporation, so I do not have to use an ATO. Just filled up the reactor with RODI water. Now I'm going to hook up the power supply to the DC speed control. And then to the pump. Now I'm going to add the kelp powder. This is enough kelp that will last me roughly a month. This is 45 teaspoons of kelp uh, based on 6,000 milliliters a day. I run about a teaspoon and a half of kelp per day. Now I'm going to dump in the kelp. Top it up with a little more RODI water. Tighten down the lid. All right, once it's all tight, make sure this tight also. I already have my RODI lines hooked up. I'm going to now turn on the pump and mix everything up. Once everything's tightened up, you want to bleed the air from the pump. To do that, take this little valve on top, crack it open. The water starts coming out. Now, I'm going to adjust the speed on the DC pump. To do that, I'm going to turn on the pump, have the speed low. Adjust the speed, how well you want it to mix. I'm probably going to leave it around half. This is my Waterbox 626. It is the tank I installed the Geo Kalkwasser reactor on, and this tank runs the majority on calc. It is also supplemented with a calcium reactor. As the corals grow in the future, I'll be increasing the calcium reactor dosage because I'm at the max calc dosage for this tank because I'm matching evaporation. I've also been using the calc reactor for a few weeks now and I've made a few changes. First change is I reduce the frequency in which the pump turns on to mix the calc from every four hours to once every 12 hours. The chamber is so large that it was unnecessary to turn on so frequently. Ideally, you would have it mix, then settle, and dose however much is in the chamber before it mixes again. And I believe this chamber holds around 3 gallons. I also increase the time it settles from 25 minutes to an hour because it mixes so well that it took a lot longer for the slurry to settle than my old reactor did. Also, another thing I wanted to mention is I dose 80% of calc at night and the other 20% during the day. This helps a lot with the pH swing at night. All right, this wraps up the video. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I'll be sure to reply.